When people find out I'm a teacher, one of their first questions is, what do you teach? I teach science, I answer, and sometimes they look at me like they're a little bit scared. Some people find science kind of a scary thing. Why is that? Well, there's a lot to know about science. But that's the other thing that's so great about science. The science is everywhere you look. So what's the trick to taking something that can be scary and turning it into something that's really fun and educational? Well, for me, I think the trick is using teaching aids. It's all about hands-on in a science classroom. The more hands-on you are, the more your students are going to be able to take difficult concepts like cellular respiration and master them. There's lots of different ways that you can find and use teaching aids. And they don't all have to be expensive. Sure, you can go in a science teaching catalog and you can buy an actual official model set. But you can do the same model activities with something really simple, like candy from the grocery store. I use marshmallows too. A couple of toothpicks, you can stick them together and you can make yourself a chemical model for a fraction of the price. I like to use pipe cleaners as a way to show chromosome movement when I'm talking about the cell cycle. pH paper is something that's pretty easy to come by and you can use it to test simple household chemicals like bleach or vinegar and see how different chemicals have different pHs. You can go out in nature and find shells, stones, bricks, uh, or sticks, all kinds of things that you can use to really bring the science to life in your classroom. And that's the trick to making science interesting and fun helping your students learn and have a great time while they're doing it. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is Using Science Teaching Aids in the Classroom.